Y'all, I just realized I'm only nine subscribers away from a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Holy, I'm about to get paid from YouTube and Twitch. This is going to be my full time. I'm really trying to make this full time, guys. I like, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. If I could just hop online and show you guys what I'm hacking into every day, that would just be the dream. I want to hack and travel all over and get paid to do that and do consultation calls and help you guys like um, with your career and like doing the same thing. Um, and I just got my LLC, so I'm officially a business. The Digital Empress is a business now. So right now we're waiting on this NMAP scan to finish. It's still going. All right, that's done. It's usually not like that, but okay. But yeah, I just want to get on here every day or every other day and um, show you guys what I'm hacking and what I'm, where I'm like traveling to next. Because my moon, I mean my rising is in Sagittarius, so I like to move around. I think that matters. Slash OG. So this command is going to put all of these um, that usually doesn't do that way, but I guess it's going to do it tonight like that. Um, it's going to put it in a list file. It's going to put all the IPs that it's scanned in a text file. So hopefully that goes through, right? All right. All right, so unfortunately, Nmap added all the information from the completed scan. We only add the addresses. Open the target file and leave pad. All right. So, leave pad. Target. Yes. Now it's going to make me do the most annoying goddamn thing ever taking all this information out and just getting the list of IPs. So annoying. They gave me in the last lab a command to like get rid of this stuff, but they want to see me torture myself. So these IPs, because I've done this lab like 25,000 goddamn times, um, these IPs that I'm uh, getting right here in a list are going to be used to scan. So I'm going to be putting this in a online vulnerability scanner and it's going to scan all these IPs for like open holes, I mean open ports, um, any vulnerabilities that's running on them. So... I like this lab because it kind of prepares me for when I want to do like contract pen testing. Um, a lot of the times you go in and you have permission, you go in and they you can like use this tool or use this concept to go in and like um, scan a company's network to see how many vulnerabilities they have. And like in this scenario, they said that they haven't done a vulnerability scan or a vulnerability audit in like two years, which is really bad. I actually had um, someone from New Orleans, a client. I never got to do the, the vulnerability audit because I just didn't know what the hell I was doing at that time. Um, and I tried to hook them up with a pen tester that I knew, but it didn't go through. And they really need to get their network scanned like ASAP because they 
did never had one. But I think this is how you would go about scanning a network. Um, once you, oh shit, once you um, get this down. And it, I think it, yeah, it also is going to teach me how to do a vulnerability audit report. And I only have 56 minutes up, which sucks. Because that audit report is really goddamn long. Like, really long. And it says, note that there's two instances of HIV. Also, make sure to exclude the IP address of your Cali machine. Okay. So... I don't know why it says do that because it has the Kali machine IP in here. So we're just going to keep that there. All right. So it's supposed to look like this. Save. And now that that's done, we can move along. And we're going to do vulnerability scans now. 